Okay, Chow. You win. It's a bloody stupid game. <laughs> it may be stupid, but I'm 20 bucks richer. I'm lunged like a horse. This dream. Watch now, Lizzie's gonna turn into a giant donut. <laughs> Yo, dude, nice buns. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> so, uh, Mike, how'd the job interview go? I got the job. But I, I, I thought it was for a marketing position. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I market on the corner of Broadway and 75th. <laughs> I don't understand. Why would you go along with this? I, I, I thought they were just hazing the new guy, you know? They actually locked me into this thing, they, then they pushed me out of a van. Oh, dude. That is not kosher. <laughs> I'm on fire! Oh. Look, Mike, Mike, this, this is ridiculous. I, I know you need the money, but just take your time. I'll cover you. You don't need a job, you need a career. Something that you care about. Hey, I, I just saw an ad for a career counselor. Why don't you give him a call? All right, I will. As soon as somebody cuts off my wiener. <laughs> don't be in such a hurry, Mike. You should relish the moment. <laughs> Very impressive resume. Very impressive. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It says here you went to Oxford? Uh-huh. Yeah. I was at junior college back in Jersey. I have a cousin who went there. Brenda, you, you know her? Red hair, big rack. Uh, uh, no, that's actually uh, the Oxford University in England. Oh. Oh, that, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of funny that a guy like you would, uh, would even be sitting here seeking career advice from a guy like me, Rick Steve. Uh, well, uh, the, the thing is, is, is you know, I, I've been in a uh, non-profit since I got to New York. Now you want to say, forget the goody two-shoe stuff. Let's go make some elephant bucks, right? You think I can make elephant bucks? I don't know. Stop pressuring me. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't trying to pressure you. I... No, you're right. I'm sorry. I was out of line there. <laughs> pay Rick Steve to find you the hot jobs. You don't pay Rick Steve to sit here and feel sorry for himself. My apologies. <laughs> Ever thought of selling accidental dismemberment insurance? Well, um, to be honest with you, Rick, Steve, what I was thinking was maybe that I could get into something more on the creative end, you know? Mm. Like, not, not, not that I'm a creative guy, but maybe I could be the guy behind the guy who is creative. Whoa. All right. Whoa. Yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, do you, shh, do you hear that? Do you hear that? <laughs> Click, 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 click. It all just clicked into place, Mike. Okay. I got two words for you. Yeah. Job counselor. Job counselor. Yeah. You know, it wasn't too long ago that I was just like you, believe it or not. Really? Yeah. Huh. I was sitting in that chair talking to some jerk who was giving me advice. Rick, please. I, I don't think of you as a jerk. Who said I was a jerk, punk? <laughs> Rick, no, no disrespect to you or, or, or what you do, but I, I don't know if if job counseling would really make me happy. Yeah, well, you don't have to get hostile. Okay. Listen to you, okay? You know, you come in here and, and, and you whip out your big Oxford package and you <laughs> slam it on Rick Steve's desk. And yet, and yet you have no marketable skills. You have uh, no experience in the Oxford, real world. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and, and uh, oh, and you know what else? You're not likable. <laughs> At least I don't have two first names. <laughs> oh, yeah? Rick Steve. Oh, yeah. Well, at least Rick Steve has a job Bye. <laughs>
Chow, it was just an icicle. It came off a tree. Open your eyes, man. It was frozen airline poop. <laughs> it wasn't naturally blue. You'll see when I defrost it. You guys talking about sky crap? Because I swear I saw some blue poo fall to earth yesterday. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christy Lee Farrow, your new neighbor. Hi, I'm, I'm Ewan Pierce, 6D. I like this building already. <laughs> and you are? Easter basket. <clears throat> Ciao. <laughs> Why did you say Easter basket? I was nervous. <laughs> Well, um, if, if you need anything, um, I'm right here. Well, I need many things at all hours of the day and night. Easter basket. <laughs> hey, you guys are not going to believe how hot our new neighbor is. Dude, you don't even know. That is Christy Lee Farrow. She's the queen of late night Skinamax movies. <laughs> Great. See, once one Hollywood bimbet moves in, there'll be another, then another, and soon the whole building will be overrun. Hey, hey, Christy Lee's movies are awesome, all right? Like Sex Scraper, huh? There's uh, violence, action, nudity, violent nudity, nude action. <laughs> and she saves Christmas. Hey, Mike, why are you dressed like a dork? I mean, you always sort of dress like a dork, but uh, today it's like you're trying to get beat up. I had to see that stupid job counselor, and he was a giant tool. But it did get me thinking about what kind of work I really want to do, you know? And it hit me. What do I spend all of my free time doing, day and night, huh? Oh, sperm donor. Sweet! <laughs> I was actually talking about video games. I just got to get to know somebody in that industry. My uncle owns an arcade. I could hook you up as a change guy. <laughs> Quick! How many quarters in a dollar? <laughs> hey, do you guys have a screwdriver? Can I touch your hair? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, sure we do. But uh, do you really need one, or did you just miss me? Can't it be both? <laughs> Hi, I'm Christy Lee. Hey, uh, Mike. Hey, you're in showbiz, right? You know anybody in video games? No, but I know a guy whose nickname is Donkey Kong. No, wait, not Kong. <laughs> I'm Status Quo, your other neighbor. Yes, that's right, <laughs> the famous rapper. Well, <laughs> you know, I hear you're an actress. You're gonna make a great addition to our little community. <laughs> there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> there you go. And, uh, you know, later, if you fancy it, I'll uh, show you around the building. Or, you know, we could just stay in and cuddle. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm staying at my boyfriend's tonight. No! <laughs> boyfriend? Damn! I have a rule about not dating anyone with a boyfriend. Listen to you. You're being a good guy, huh? No, I'm not, silly boy. I'm simply going to have to break them up. There's no rule against that. Dude, you are evil. I'm a hero. <laughs> well, he's not my hero. Oh, I'm not? You know, this game's made by Arcadium. They're one of our biggest clients. How would you like to work for them? My hero! <laughs> so great to be working here. It's like I'm living my dream come true. Fresh bagels and donuts every AM. Bagel to donut ratio is a three to one. What are you talking about? I'm Mike Platt. I'm the new executive trainee. And I'm training you. Um, I'm sorry, but I, th I think my job is supposed to involve the video games, you know, Quest for Atlantis or Die Robot, Die, Die, Die. God, that game is awesome. <laughs> They make the games in Korea. The only thing that dies here is your spirit. Oh. Well, I, I guess I just thought that the people who worked here might actually play the game. If I don't get some coffee right now, I am firing the next five people I see. He plays a game. It's called abuse the new executive trainee. I don't have that one. Mike, you can't quit that job. I'll get in trouble. I had my boss, Brooks Dexter himself, make the call for you. He will rip me a new one. Maybe it's time for a new one, huh? <laughs> a 
Maybe your old one's worn out. <laughs> I'm serious. Don't screw this up. He will fire me. He enjoys firing people. He goes to their homes with a video crew and fires them in front of their children. Was it that bad, Mike? Yeah. They yelled at me about bagels and, and, and I had to make coffee. And I had the creepiest little man training me. <laughs> yeah, well, I started as an office boy too. But, you know, you work your way up, learn the business. And then when the right opportunity presents itself, you, you impress your bosses with your expertise and enthusiasm. Mike, you make great coffee. They're gonna notice. Great, great, great. <laughs> Maybe uh, one day I could be chief coffee boy, huh? Quick, turn on the satellite. Christy Lee is on. Sex scraper! <laughs> At nuclear physics school, they taught me how to defuse bombs. Now, if I can only remember, remember, remember. That's it. I'm gonna go put my lucky pants on and ask that talented woman out. Hey, dude, she has a boyfriend. So? It's not like they're married. They're not even living together. Well, I'm not married and I'm not living with Mike. Why don't you ask me out? Liz, Mike's my best friend. Call me later. <laughs> I mean, you and I, I know you're a dog, but I always thought that underneath you were a good guy. Oh, no, 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 I'm not. So you've got that backwards. See, on the surface, I'm a good guy, but underneath, I'm completely rotten. <laughs> Am I the only one worried about the bomb? <laughs> My hands are so sweaty, I keep dropping the wire cutters. I know. I'll use my shirt to grip it. You win? Mr. Dexter, here at my house. Oh, God, where's the video crew? <laughs> I'm not here to fire you. Who are the flowers for? Are those for Christy Lee? Oh, hi, Ewan. Hi. Hi, Brooks. Come on in. <laughs> Did you want something? Oh, there you are. Um, <laughs> thanks for that thing that time earlier. <laughs> well, I don't know what I did, but I never say no to Lily's. <laughs> I just met Christy Lee's boyfriend. Ooh, was he a big guy? Ooh, but with an ironic nickname, like Tiny. <laughs> no, he's my boss, Brooks Dexter. He saw me with champagne and flowers. Yes! Oh, my God, what am I going to do? Liz, Liz, be my girlfriend. What? what just, just play along. Your fantasy's finally coming true. <laughs> right, and, and, and you two, oh, you're... We are, we are, uh, uh, we're your gay friends. <laughs> Mr. Dexter, how nice of you to stop by. This is my girlfriend, Liz. We're in a committed relationship, totally monogamous. Yep, I'm his girlfriend. Yeah, give me some sugar, baby. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, you... oh don't worry, child. has got some sugar for you, too. <laughs> oh, my God! What? You just slipped me the tongue. <laughs> Dude, they were kissing, so we had to kiss. Great, you blew Ewan's whole scam! Here's... Tell your friends to leave. Dude, you got soft lips for a guy. <laughs> Look, uh, sir, I, I'm really sorry. I had no idea that Christy Lee was your girlfriend. It's okay. She's not my girlfriend. She's not? Oh, thank God. She's my father's girlfriend. <laughs> Brooks Dexter Senior? But isn't he, like, 90? <laughs> no offense, sir, but... Well, he looks like the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> He's 83. He's always had a lot of extra skin. Look, he's talking about proposing. If that happens, she gets his 618 million. So, go have sex with her. Excuse me? I want you to break him up. I don't know. I mean, it all seems a little unseemly. I mean, seducing a beautiful woman to advance my career. Right, oh, I'll do it. <laughs> Uh, 
How's the Christmas release for 2003 coming? Oh, the graphics really pop, but the R&D boys are having problems with the interface, so sometimes Kreldor's perspective is jumpy. Uh, people don't care about that. They'll buy it because it's Kreldor. Actually, people do care. Excuse me? Oh, God. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Mike Platt. I'm, I'm the new executive trainee, and... You know, gentlemen, I, I really don't know a lot of stuff. I'm not a business type guy, but uh, you know, one thing I, I do know is, is video games. Go on. All right, well, uh, you know, I played Kreldor 1 and 2, and what made those games great <clears throat> was the fluid movement and that perspective. You see, we don't make games here. We make worlds. And, and if you make a game with a jumpy perspective, well, then you have violated the trust of the people who have made Arcadium what it is today. <laughs> Coffee boys got ideas. <laughs> we don't make games. We make blah 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 blah. <laughs> you know, I, I just thought that maybe well, my input. I, I'm would... sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, Mike. Here's some advice. Type your thoughts up in a memo. Then tomorrow, bring them to me along with my bagel. That way, I'll have something to eat and something to wipe my butt with. <laughs> to wipe my butt with. <laughs> you know I went to Oxford, huh? <laughs> now this would make a great game, Coffee Boys Rampage. Ah! Say something else. Loser strikes back. <laughs> Guys are so mean. Buy a Chevrolet, please, and where's the ketchup? I must have ketchup with everything I eat. <laughs> That's the worst American accent I've ever heard. I know, I know, but it is better than your English accent. I'd like two pence to ride the lorry to the Queen Mum's flat. Oh, and look how awful my teeth are. <laughs> <laughs> Not you, your teeth are beautiful. You're beautiful. I better go. Are you sure? No, that's why I better go. I have a boyfriend. Don't you mean old man friend? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Oh, come on. We both know the story. Young girl meets rich old man. Old man gets girl apartment. Young girl has wild sex with dashing neighbor. <laughs> you left out the part where a young girl loves old man. For real? Yes, for real. It's not about the money. Brooks and I have a great relationship. When we're together, it's like we're both teenagers. We go to the movies, amusement parks, any place it's wheelchair accessible. Well, then if that's the case, then, then why are you here with me, complimenting my teeth? I'm not saying it's a perfect relationship. The fact is, it's been two years. I thought by now he'd have asked me to marry him. Maybe he's gotten cold feet. Well, it's probably due to poor circulation. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, maybe I'm just fooling myself. To be honest, part of me really wants to be with you right now. No, wait, Christy. If Brooks Dexter proposed to you tonight, what would you say? I think I'd say yes. Yeah, he's a good guy, isn't he? Yeah, I think you should go. Why? Because I'm not a good guy, and I'm not going to get you an apartment, and I won't stay with you for two years. Hell, I've already planned the lie I was going to use to get you to go home after we had sex. You are so sweet. No, I'm not. I'm a scoundrel. Now, off with you. <laughs> you know what else? You are a good guy. Ah! Stop it, stop it. Walk faster, walk faster. I'm losing my resolve. Well, I just had a nice day. First, my boss ripped me a new one for not sleeping with Christy Lee. Then I ripped myself a new one for not sleeping with Christy Lee. Two new ones? You might have to get a special toilet. <laughs> you in? Hey, I thought I heard you. Hi, how are you? I brought you my movies. There's Sex Scraper, Bombshell Island, and How to Use Your New Konica Copier. Wow, thanks. <laughs> and if you wait three weeks, there'll be another one. Sex Scraper 2, The Reckoning. <laughs> we start shooting tomorrow. 
Wait a second, we watched the first one, you died in the end. Ah, la, 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 you're ruining it for me! <laughs> hey, Christy, these, uh, these movies, a lot of people work on them. Sure. Can you make coffee? <laughs> Who's the idiot who forgot to scoop out the inside of my bagel? Uh, uh, that's, that's me. Uh, one sesame bagel inside scooped out, coming right up. I see you've met our director. Yeah, I have. And hey, he's not that bad. Calls me pal. Move it, pal! What are you, high? I can't believe I'm actually working on a movie. Hey, what scene is this right now? Security guard shower room. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's go, you freaking brain death! I'm starving! You pay me for this. <laughs> mm. So, have you thought about it? Ready to join Team Rick Steve? Yeah. Chow's not into being a job counselor. Yeah, well, that's okay, because, you know, Rick Steve doesn't think you have what it takes anyway, buddy. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but the credit card company asked Chow to do this. Hey, look at the bright side. Now, now you got one for Rick, and one for Steve. <laughs>